Mech Warriors, Mech Commanders, and that other weird part of YouTube, it is I, Project Dark Fox, with Lavender Industries for an, yet another miniature painting video. Today's video, we are going to work on another classic Star League mech that gained a lot more traction with the Draconis Combine in later years thanks to Operation Rosebud, the CRB-27 Crab. I mentioned before that it was looking into an other Draconis Combine units to paint, but it seems like the Sword of Light is probably what I'll be painting after all. Let's get painting. Alright. Our mechs are already painted in our Arctic Adventures colors. That is fine. This is because I currently don't have any acetone or else I'd probably uh, take down their uh, paint schemes. Also, this miniature here is actually plastic. It came from one of the Catalyst Game Labs plastic Alpha Strike Lance packs. So, I'm afraid of the acetone actually damaging that miniature outright. So, I had mentioned before in another video that you can probably paint over a miniature exactly once before you probably need to, and I mean need to, strip it, or else you start losing details. So, as I am getting kind of tired of looking at all of the uh, blue and orange, we're going to paint it all over red because that is the primary color of the Sword of Light. They don't have anything complex like the Davian Guards, thank God. So this is actually going to be one of the simpler schemes. They are mostly just red. And the various Swords of Light regiments, their major difference is just the Draconis Combined logo. Like I think it was like the seventh one where their uh, Draconis Combine logo is uh, green, but the rest of their mech is still red. I will actually add like a little bit of white striping kind of in the same vein as I used to do with the oranges on these mechs before. So nice bright red to indicate the, the, the might of the Karitan War Machine. My crab is fight. Oh yes. <laughs> so, while the crab has been around a, quite a long time, much like the King Crab, the Flash Man, and all of those mechs, um, it only really seemed to get a lot of traction uh, very recently around the War of 3039 when the crab's raiding abilities uh, became apparent. Because they do not require resupply, much like the Flashman. As Comstar had gifted a bunch of these crabs to the Combine, even though they're, uh, lower, the, they're lower tech versions at the time, the CRB-20, of course, the only thing they lost out on was ferrofibrous armor. Everything else is still pretty stock. A pair of large lasers, a medium laser, and a small laser with just enough heat sinks to fire the large lasers. You kind of have a, a small walking uh, recipe, recipe for disaster, especially since this thing does actually move at 81 kilometers an hour. Sarna will probably tell you 86.4, but I'm kind of going by a MechWarrior Online speeds there, or MechWarrior 3. Still really solid though, good armor, and great raider. Never have to worry about ammunition. Is 50 tons too. So would that mean that it's not exactly open to an ammo explosion? No ammo explosions. Mm -hmm. If it overheats it just kind of shuts down. Mm -hmm. What a red, red crab. If it was pink, I would probably paint it like Zoidberg. Whoop, whoop, 
Why not Zoidberg? Why not Zoidberg? Huh. Ah. But nah. I have another crab I can do that to, though. Yeah. Because I actually have two of the crab miniatures. Yeah, now we just need an action figure of Solid Snake. Crab battle. <laughs> not sorry. Wait, I promised myself I was not going to make that joke again. My bad. I kind of forced your hand. Such detail. Hey, this isn't even a detail stage. We're just painting. I was more uh, talking about the mech itself. Oh, yeah. It's got a lot of armor plating on it, and that's nothing that I did. Well, armor detailing on it. Especially the length of the hull here. I've put together a crab twice before. Of course, because I have two miniatures. These things are kind of a pain in the butt to put together. But at the same time, because of the way they are done, it does leave them pretty open to uh, posing. Even though they kind of have a funky leg, uh, leg layout here. Base coat's done. Looking good. And then, once it dries, we'll work on the wash. I bought some new colors today. So, we have a fully painted, well, not fully painted, base coated crab right over the old paint scheme. I bought a new color here called Barn Red. And we got to turn it into a wash. It's kind of dark, but it's better than constantly deadening the red that I was using before. Don't need a lot of paint. We just dilute it so well that, as before, it is the consistency of ink. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about overlapping any colors today, so all we gotta do is just paint it all over the miniature. Like so. This is easy, but it takes the longest to dry. Hence why it's called a wash. Mm hmm. Of course with these uh, miniatures having been painted over before it's not going to come out as detailed. It's still okay. But if I wanted to repaint it yet again I would need to strip it. Mm over nice and easy and it has been darkened. The details will pop out at least a little better than before. And we'll get on to the next stage once this is dried. Hello, welcome back. On the side, because I always have a copious amount of paint left over, I have been also been doing the Jenner, a very common trademark mech of the Draconis Combine. I have more Jenners in the future, so we will talk about them later. Because right now we are still focused on this crab. I have mixed a lighter red with a little white to dry brush with. Got to make sure our uh, brush is just about dry and we can start working on this.
So I have mentioned uh, Operation Rosebud. Rosebud was something that this was actually Comstar's uh, idea that hugely benefited the Draconis Combine. This thing uh, after the Capellan Confederation was hit hard by the Davians and the Steiners in 3028 a few years later, Comstar came to uh, Takashi Kurita to talk about a little bit of a trade. Blasted Davians and drunk Steiners. <laughs> Honor the dragon. So, Waterly comes up to Kurita for, with a deal. War material for a few ex to give away a few extra worlds to the uh, a new faction called the Free Rasselhog Republic. They've been kind of the Rasselhogians had kind of been given the Koreans a little bit of trouble and so they figured why not. It would also give the Steiners a bit of a border or a buffer rather. So it would work out in multiple ways. And because of of the extra war material, the Drax were ready for the Davians for the War of 3039 with a bunch of brand new mechs that were thought lost. One of them, the Crab. As well as other mechs like the Kentaro, the Huzar, Thorn, many, many other mechs. But how many mechs would you say in total? Uh, different models? Probably about 20 or so. As for uh, actual mechs, gods, we're thinking uh, battalions or regiments worth of mechs here that Comstar just had hidden away. Kind of fishy if you think about it. That Comstar was hiding away all of this war material. Makes you wonder what ulterior motives they might have that they're not saying. Well, it was, <laughs> well, it was pretty interesting, the stuff that they did do. They have a secret operative division called ROM. Just like, uh, the Combine has the uh, internal security force, or ISF or whatever. I don't recall what it exactly stands for. The Davians have the NAIS. coming out pretty good actually yes everything's popping out just to, like I had hoped and this is despite the fact it's been painted over yes when this is done you won't really be able to tell it has been painted over a, an existing scheme which is why I said that you generally have a limit of one uh, repaint before you gotta strip it. Look at that lovely shade of red. The sort of light. There are multiple regiments of the Sword of Light, and they are considered the elite of the Draconis Combine. Most of them defend their holdings, but but they also 
get sent to the front lines pretty frequently as well. They demand a specific kind of respect for just how good they are, even if uh, some of them can be buttheads. <laughs> it basically <laughs> it, it 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 gets to their heads sometimes, and it just. Well, it just kind of basically shows that there are snakes in the dragon's nest. There's going to be bad eggs everywhere. But it always seems like the Combine's got a large portion of them. There's good people in there, too. Just going over it, making sure I've got it all dry brushed. Looking pretty good, actually. Indeed, I concur. We'll probably at least stripe the f some st uh, strips of white on the so sides along here and over the shoulders. And maybe something along the side of the legs as well. But outside of that, dry brushing is about done. I just finished dry brushing the Jenner. And now we're going to work on striping our crab. I am bracing my hand against the table here because it is otherwise very unsteady. Looking so good. to get me some unit stickers is what I need to do. I think, what was it, Piranha Graphics or something has actually got some that I can probably stick on the mechs and give them a uh, more flair. Hmm. I'm going to have to get those later. You can already see the striping on that side. Mm-hmm. Mostly red, but with some whites. And it will make it look like a very distinct sort of light mech. I'm not sure what regiment this will be, but I'm just going to say, I don't know, a regiment? <laughs> Whatever regiment it's from, it looks sporking tight. Mm-hmm. The only difference between the different regiments is the, the color of the Draconis Combine logo that is usually on the shoulder. Um, my hand is not even close to steady enough to try to paint the uh, Magnificent Dragon on the shoulder. So I think I'm going to settle for a decal when I can get one. Then the stripe on the opposite leg here.
I'm going to get the side panels near the rear too. Excellent. Just give it a somewhat consistent look across the body. We will start painting some gray across the uh, many laser barrels it has. I will probably leave the claws red. I'm going to take some gray paint. Don't need much. here so I can get underneath it. There's also a radar dish on top of the hair, so I think I'm going to go ahead and paint that. How many channels does that radar dish get? All of them. All of the channels. Including HBO. Nice. So I can watch Cartoon Network on the go. Mm-hmm. I think it, like the original version of it on the of the communication system on the CRB27, uh, had a, a sensor and communication suite on top uh, on par with the Hussar that allowed it to allowed its pilot to predict movements better. Or otherwise just stay in contact with its friends because uh, this is the type of mech you want deep in within enemy lines. We're looking pretty good here. Indeed. I'm going to do a couple more touch-ups here and then we're going to call it good. Just need to paint the cockpit and then work on the base. Now that we've uh, finished all of the laser barrels, I've already painted the green, the black parts where the barrels end. I'm going to paint the cockpit. Now, cockpit's kind of in a strange spot when it comes to the regular crab. I saw this little uh, hump here, and I know it's directly in front of the dish, but whatever. So I'm actually going to paint that as the cockpit canopy. with a regular old black. that part done it's time to start jeweling the cockpit canopy
lighter shade of gray, smaller portion. Clean my brush here. And get my tip back. Lighter gray, smaller, smaller portion. This is the lightest gray I'm going to do here, so it's going to be pretty small. And then for the white, very small details. shiny bits here and there. Yeah. I think the mech itself is about done. Then we just need to paint the base. got enough for the two mechs here. That is a good looking crab. Thank you. That crab looks so good I'm getting hungry. Why did I know that joke was coming? <laughs> because you know I'm a seafood lover. Yeah. Too bad you can't eat it. Can't yeah. eat crab anyway. Yeah, shellfish. Allergies suck. Yeah. And here's our special guest, Jenner. Hi, Jenner. It is not named Bruce or Caitlin. It is just a Jenner. I know there's still some of that stuff pulled up, but we are going to use some green for that. Now that our bases have dried, I'm going to get out a little bit of turf here. That's a bit too much for both mechs. That's still a bit too much. There are other things I could do to bases, like doing some more rocky stuff or what have you, but these are still nice and simple and they do provide an, a nice uh, background element, nice simple background element for the, for the mech. It doesn't detract too much as a playing piece. I'm going to have to repaint this base, aren't I? Darn it. It's all good. I 
But yeah, so what other kinds of things can you do to bases, like rocks and sand and things? Sand is actually pretty common. Um, I've actually seen rubble used as, as well, like a fake rubble. Mm-hmm. Even road or whatever. All kinds of uh, nice environments. I'm j I just kind of want to keep it consistent for some, uh, some reason. Nothing wrong with that. Mm, not really. Rocks, desert-like conditions, and... A couple are even snowy, but I haven't seen many of those. And you'll love the sound of this. A couple of them have, have even done it with uh, volcanoes and magma and stuff like that. Oh, sport, yeah. But uh, just I just do simple, nice rock and grass. Might need to water this one. Doesn't quite want to stay in place. Nah, I think it's good. Mm-hmm. And we got a crab ready for battle. Awesome. So if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, Mac Warriors.